Oh my gosh, this is going to be a lot of editing. A lot of editing. Please thumbs up this video. Hello gentlemen and ladies and welcome back to the Shop Talk YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about a different kind of tool than we have been here recently. It is the U-Measure MS40A laser distance meter. And you can see the box behind it and clearly written on this box is made in China. It's written in really big letters. They're not hiding anything. So what I wanted to do is actually check this thing out. What I wanted to see is if this laser meter could compete with some of the ones I've used previously, like the Bosch models. Because this thing costs probably half as much as their cheapest model. This thing retails for around $30 on Amazon. I thought if it worked out, this would be a great meter for guys to use on load calculations for HVAC or job estimates. If they didn't want to spend a ton of money and they weren't going to use it a ton, this might be the perfect meter. So we're going to run through and see what it does and just get a general sense of the product. The meter is right around five inches long and at the widest point around two inches wide. The weight of the meter is just over four ounces with the batteries installed. I like it has a nice white backlit screen. It really shows up really well. I don't like colored backlit screens. Sometimes there's green or blue or something like that. I really don't prefer that. I like the white backlight. The first button we see right here in the top left, that allows you to decide whether you want to be measuring from here or measuring from here. So you can actually change that by hitting the button and you'll see it change here at the top of the screen. Right now it's set to measure from the back forward, hit it again and it measures from the front forward. The laser's going this direction. You have a plus and minus that allow you to navigate some of the menu screens. Also, you can add or subtract some of the measurements. You have a save button here in the bottom left. Right in the middle on the top, you have a button that allows you to calculate area or volume. We have a maximum and minimum. Off or clear, you can clear your measurements. It will store some on the screen you'll be able to see. Right here on the top right, you see this triangle. That'll allow you to calculate measurements based on Pythagorean theorem. That's a mouthful, isn't it? And then right here on the bottom, you can change your units. So let's take a measurement real quick and I'll show you sort of how it works. So what I'll do is I'll get ready to take a measurement. It's been sitting here for a second. The laser has disappeared, so I need to hit it again. And I'll hit it one more time after we get our laser lined up. So let's look over there at the wall and see where we're gonna line it up. So we have the meter laying on the table right now. We're gonna hit the on button once. You see the laser appears at the far side of the table. And we're gonna hit it again with our laser over there. That'll make our measurement. So as you can see, our measurement is nine foot, two inches, and one sixteenth of an inch. So we can actually change the different units and get different readouts. Let's take a look at that. We have meters, 2.796 meters. We have 110 and one sixteenth inches. We also have feet, 9.173, and then back to our nine foot two inches. So it gives you a variety of different units to use as well, depending on your application or location. Now let's do an area measurement. So now we're in my son's bedroom. I'm going to get an area measurement, and then we'll do a volume measurement after that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a spot on the wall where I have a nice clear shot from one side to the other, and then we're gonna do the same thing, and I'm gonna show you how the meter looks while we're doing this. All right, we're gonna line our device up level. There's actually a little level right there on the side of it. Right here, it doesn't look like that level is very visible. It's very hard to see. So I don't know how useful that's gonna be. We're going to aim at the other side. We'll hit the on button to get the laser ready. I'll make sure we're hitting the other side. And as you can see, we are hitting the other side. We wanna stay away from like the door casings there and stuff like that, because it's gonna give you an errant measurement since it's closer. So we'll go ahead and hit the button. We get our first measurement. So what we'll do now is we're actually gonna put it right here on this wall, shoot it across the room the other way. I'll hit the on button again. It'll trigger the laser. We'll hit the button again. So it'll take our second measurement and give us the area of this particular room. So the only difference between this measurement and the volume measurement is the volume measurement is gonna give you one more option so you can shoot from floor to ceiling. So we're not gonna run through that again because all it is is just taking that one other measurement. 
so there's going to be some times when you can't make a direct measurement and you're going to have to make a measurement based on this Pythagorean method that this thing allows you to do. So what it is, is basically you have three measurements in a triangle. You have the hypotenuse, which is the long slanted side. This is a right triangle. You have the section here and a section across at the bottom. So what you're going to try to figure out is a section across at the bottom. So let me back up and show you what I mean here at my front door and show you how we're going to simulate making these measurements. Sorry, it's a sunny day, guys. This could be hard to see me a little bit, even with our lighting. So we want to measure from the floor here to the top. But let's say we can't get over here to make that measurement. So what we're going to do is using this Pythagorean method, we're going to measure a triangle. So we're just going to pick a point like right here at the edge. We're going to put our meter down there and shoot to the top get a measurement there and then get a measurement from this point down here to the base of the door and then it'll calculate what that other measurement would have been. So we're going to make that and then we're going to compare it against an actual measurement since we actually can make this measurement. See how close they are. All right so we're going to turn our measurement device back on. We're going to choose the Pythagorean method. We're at a point which is at the edge of our door and we're going to shoot that line at an angle up to the top of the door now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this thing steady. We're going to aim it up top. I hit it right there. Our first measurement is 10 foot 7 inches. So then we're going to take another measurement and we're going to lay it down so it shoots directly at the base of the door. I'm going to hit it again. 5 foot 5 and 3 eighths inches. It says that our height will be 9 foot 2 inches. So let's make a measurement right there at the door and see what we get. So we're going to clear these other measurements out. I'm going to turn this back on. Make sure we're aiming toward the top. Hit it. And we have 9 foot 2 inches and 11 sixteenths. So that is pretty daggone close and a great way to measure if you can't reach where you're trying to measure. Guys, so that's the U-Measure MS40A. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about laser distance measuring and what these devices can do to help you at your job. I think they're pretty useful. I've owned a couple of them over the years. This one seems like it's pretty nice. For being $30, I wouldn't mind having this in my tool bag. It's lightweight. It's not as sturdy as some of the other ones, but as long as you take care of it, because we only use them sporadically, I think it'll be a good tool for you. So I'll put a link in the description to where I got it on Amazon if you're interested or if you want a different laser distance meter, you can search that on Amazon and there's a ton of different ones, including some cheapos like this one and more expensive ones. This one has a range of only 40 meters, so it's one of the shorter distance measuring devices. You can get ones that measure much farther, but for me, 40 meters would be fine because that's you know roughly 120 feet or so. So it gives me enough measurement distance for what I would use it for but you might need something longer, so just purchase appropriately. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one.